all. My name is Aradhya Krishna. I'm studying in second standard. I'd like to share a few points about child labor. The International Child Labor Organization defines child labor as the work that is mentally, physically, socially, and morally harmful and dangerous for children. More than 218 million children are child labor in the world. 120 million children are engaged to hazardous industries. 73 million children are below 10 years. In India, estimated the total number of child labor. There are 4.35 million of child labor. Every year, 22,000 children die in work-related accidents. There even I go to my school, I find many children working in shops, either sweeping floors, holding rooms, selling eatable items, and begging on streets. Also, I have heard that many children work in bangle-making industries and fireworking industries. Do we know that we're exposed such a cruising condition, such an unhealthy condition in which they work? Are they born to work in such condition? No, I think they're not meant to do such things. I think when I have the right to go to school, when I deserve to study, why don't they deserve to study? Why don't they have the right to go to school? They're meant to read books to get the privilege of this education. Because of child labor, children lose the quality of childhood. And it is important for every human being to enjoy every stage of their life. Child labor also leads to health complications due to undernourishment and poor working conditions. Children which are employed do not have time to go to school because they spend much time in working stations. So they became illiterate and it is a very serious threat to the Indian economic growth. If we follow some of these rules which I am going to tell right now, we can overcome this situation. The government should see strictly enforce the child labor laws. Also, the government should ensure that every child gets a chance to go to school. Free education, midday meal scheme can also help in a, can also help poor people. Increasing employment opportunities for poor adults is also important. Poor people are much affected with this problem and empowering the parents with this kind of knowledge can bring a positive change. Being a responsible citizen, if you consider yourself as a responsible citizen, then you should raise your voice and you should stand up and face the situation. You should not wait for the government to take action. And wherever you see injustice happening to small children, you can, you can complain to the nearby police station. The innocence of a child shall never be taken away in the purpose of making lives of adults easier. The future is much brighter when younger generations have good foundation for success.